Sheet mulching has been a thing that people have been recommending and doing on all climates all over the place for a long time. But sheet composting is a totally different thing. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing a very selective, very high level sheet composting in place, in situ. So this area is currently, it's already a daikon radish, which is a fertilizing cover crop. It gathers nitrogen in. It is actually a biological tillage. So it's already happening. It's already good. But now we're going to chop and drop in place, but not the whole thing. We're going to be actually mulching it in place. You're going to see how. And then we're going to be adding in comfrey, which is like, oh man, comfrey is amazing. If you don't know about comfrey, then you should really check it out. People are using it as a compost starter, just like you would use manure. So just think about that, the compostability there, the heat there. We're going to be adding that on top of this. So this is already nitrogenous. We're adding something on top of it that's like manure. And then we're going to be adding biochar, right? And then we're going to, on top of all of that, we're going to be adding the compost. And then we're going to be seeding right into it. So this is an area we've prepared. This had all this daikon radish that re-sprouted the following, this early, early spring, this winter. And now we're going to make it into sheet composting. So different from sheet mulching, we're not getting out the cardboard, we're not getting out trash, we're not getting out paper and doing the whole layering thing and measuring. No, no, no. We're just going to be creating a compost in layers, in sheets here in situ. Sheet mulching is something that needs to be upgraded to be sheet composting. So if you're excited about this, <laughs> if you're a little bit enthusiastic about this, then you're going to want to try this. So let's do this right now. You guys ready? Let's go. <laughs> so you could use a knife or you could get in there with something like this and just take things down. To the ground level. So that is now turned immediately into mulch and this this tool it's absolutely incredible. So this is a Ryobi cordless hedge trimmer. It's got a lithium battery. It charges up really fast and it does work amazingly well. So thanks to Tesla, thanks to those lithium battery innovations that we've seen coming out of those companies, we now have power tools that are really incredibly powerful that are not gas powered. We're moving on actually now from lithium to zinc and all their and other different more common metals to make these out of and people are starting to recycle these so there's hope um, for these not to be a, a terrible toxin out there and if it's solar powered solar you know charged up i mean you're off the grid and it's and it's all good so i just want to show you up close what i'm doing All right, now we're gonna put on the biochar. I left this whole section for pollinators and for seed. 
And as you can see, there's tons of pollinators in there right now. Wherever there's biochar, I want compost on top of it. Otherwise, it's just gonna be char. <laughs> So this is going to ferment in place. It's going to compost in place in sheets. So we're going to end up with incredible soil very, very quickly. It's not an instant garden, um, though it is kind of like we've set it up instantly. It's an instant setup. Um, so this is going to be incredible soil. We're going to be able to plant right into it. It's going to be able to decompose within a week or two. We could cover it at this point if you had you know, tarps that you could trust, you know, like tightly woven, you know, hemp tarps or something like that. You could trap that moisture in a little bit. Um, or you could just hit it again with the em a little bit. Or you could hit it with some compost tea or just keep it watered. And this is going to ferment in place. It's super sunny. We're going to be putting new crops in here soon. So stay tuned. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. And thanks for watching.